So now on, I would introduce uh, Python codes along with my discussions. So that way you can learn uh, how to develop digital twin throughout these uh, videos. Um, so these uh, Python codes, you can download it from this GitHub uh, repository. So the link is uh, displayed in the screen and there's a QR code also, you can directly uh, get into that folder. So the first file I'm going to discuss is called demo zero. So this is a Jupyter notebook file. So in general, it would be easier for me to explain through the Jupyter Notebooks. Anyway, you can also convert that into a Python file and you can run it in your uh, computer. Um, I would also place a video separately uh, to discuss how to utilize these Jupyter Notebooks as well as uh, the Python codes in a, in a future video. So hopefully you have downloaded this file called demo zero. Um, so this file is related to the first part of this uh, video and then let's go through some of the codes which I have utilized to create the figures in that uh, first part of the video. So I would expect you will have uh, some knowledge about the Python itself because of that I may not go through each one of these codes in this program rather I would explain what each section is doing so you can download the file and kind of play with the file that you can learn how to do uh, data analysis. So let's get into the first part of this file which is consist of this section of import. This is where you kind of import different types of toolboxes. Here I'm importing uh, matplotlib, numpy and statistics. So the first toolbox is utilized to uh, plot the data and the second and the third is more utilized towards doing calculations. So let's run the first section of that toolbox. And then you move on to the second section. This is where you introduce the first parameter. I'm saying my first parameter is x, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means five number uh, parameter I'm introducing in this uh, situation as a, a data set. So let's move on to the next section where I'm calculating mean variance and the standard deviation for the same data set. So here I'm utilizing the uh, NumPy toolbox to calculate uh, these values and then I want to display these values at the end of that uh, section. So let's run that section. Then you, in, you would end up with the values of mean, uh, variance and the standard deviation for that text uh, parameter. So then in the second section I'm doing the same calculation but here I'm using the statistics toolbox. Let's run uh, that section also. So now I have two um, sections displaying uh, both mean variance and the standard deviation for the same data set. But you can see slight variation in the uh, variance and the standard deviation in these two calculations. So this is related to that two formulas I have discussed in the previous uh, section where uh, that is related to larger data sets and the smaller data sets with respect to the denominator that consists of either n or n minus 1. So since we are dealing with uh, smaller data sets, the value created by this statistics toolbox is somewhat uh, more accurate for our calculations. So let's use those values to uh, do some analysis in the future in this data set. So let's move on to the next section. Uh, here I am trying to plot the uh, data set itself. So let's execute that section. So as you can see, this uh, five uh, values being uh, presented in a plot uh, which consists of these values of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 as uh, blue dots. So let's try, let's move on to the next section. Uh, what I'm trying to do in this section is I'm trying to uh, plot the same data sets with the uh, calculated mean value. So the calculated mean value is represented by a red dot and it is displaying on the same figure. So let's move on to the next section. This is where I am interested in uh, having the information on the standard deviation or displaying that information. So if I run that section, you would end up with a figure like that. So what it's doing in this section is uh, plotting the standard deviation with respect to the uh, mean value of the data set. So it's, it's, a, it's a summation of the, it, it is the uh, mean plus the standard deviation in your right hand side and then 
uh, mean minus the standard deviation in your uh, left hand side as these uh, green dots being uh, displayed in this uh, figure. So let's continue with the same notebook. Uh, here I'm introducing the second parameter to complete the data cluster. The second parameter is y which consists of the value of 2, 4, uh, 6, 8 and 10. So let's run that section. And similarly, uh, let's calculate the mean value for this um, parameter from utilizing the NumPy as well as the statistical toolbox. So you can see the corresponding uh, values. So let's try to calculate the uh, covariance value for the first and the second parameter, which is done in this next section. Let's run that section. So you get the uh, corresponding um, covariance value of 5 and then let's move on to the next sections to calculate the correlation for these two parameters so you get the correlation value corresponds to uh, approximately equal to 1 and then the next step would be to uh, plot these uh, values as a data uh, cluster so let's run the uh, the next section then you would get uh, five data points or the five data instance related to the two parameters of X and Y and then run the next sections to uh, represent mean values as well as the standard deviation for this data cluster. So let's run that section. So as you have noted um, here uh, we are uh, representing the mean value as red dot as well as the uh, standard deviation values corresponding to these mean values by uh, green dots. So that's pretty much the end of this um, Python exercise. So hopefully uh, you can download these codes and uh, go through these codes to uh, learn how to do these uh, simple calculations.